With the return of his long-lost son, Alexander, and the rescue of his daughter, Rosella, from the terrible dragon, old King Graham decides it's time to pass on his adventurous hat to younger blood. He flings the battered hat toward his children while his wife, Queen Valenice, proudly looks on. The hat arches through the air. Suddenly, Grant King Graham experiences a terrible squeezing pain in his chest. No. No, Graham. Help me, he rasps. Oh no. The adventurous hat lies unclaimed upon the floor, forgotten. Oh no, Graham. Please don't die. Oh no. Y'all gonna talk? Oh. King Graham lies weakly in bed, father death hovering near. Oh god. Grief suddenly overwhelming her, Rosella runs from the room. Oh father, she sobs, you're so yet still young, you should have many years ahead of you. Oh, wish I could help you, father. Do you really mean that? A soft voice asks. <clears throat> ha ha. Who is that? Rosella looks up and sees no one. Who's speaking to me? Who that? I am, the voice says. Look in the magic mirror. Go. Look in the magic mirror already. Rosella sees an image in the mirror. Who are you? She quires. Quires? I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Why is the mirror so close? She was just sitting in the throne. Oh, Rosella. Oh, wait. No, that's the same thing. Come on. Hurry up. I am <coughs> the fairy. <coughs> Janista, sorry. In my land of Tamira, there is a remarkable tree. This tiny tree needs 100 years to bear a single fruit. But this is no ordinary fruit, for if a person were to eat it, they would find that good health and well-being would be theirs for many years. It's a weird name. Janista. Rosella is much hardened. Is much heartened by this news. Where is the land of Tamir? Janista smiles. Tamir is very far away, but with my magic, I can bring you here. Do it. We need to save. We need to save King Graham. Rosella senses that there is more to the story, but I suppose there are some problems. Oh yeah, for sure. Again, Janista smiles. Yes, you are correct, Rosella. If you are willing to come to Tamir, I will explain the situation. She has like dragon eyes. However, once I bring you here, I can't send you back. You will have to help me first. Of course. Of course. Confused, Rosella says, I don't know. What if I can't help you or find the tree? Then your father dies. Janista pleads, you must decide now, Rosella. My powers are growing weaker by the minute. Go, Rosella. Go. Do it. Now the fairy is but a faint glimmer, and her voice barely audible. If you care for your father, say yes now, and suddenly she's gone. Yes! Oh snap. Where do we go? There's more fairies. The lovely fairy speaks. I am the fairy, Janesta. Welcome to Tamir. Okay. Rosella looks awestruck at the fairy. She is stunningly beautiful, but still there is a certain sadness to her. Finally, Rosella speaks. I know you would like me to help you in some way, but I don't know how I could help a fairy. <laughs> Janista looks sadder than ever. You're wrong, Rosella. You see, I'm losing my magical powers. Yesterday, as I was strolling through the woods, Lolette, Lolotte, 
Oh, God. Fairy sighs. She thanked it from my neck and raced away screeching with laughter. Immediately, I felt my powers diminishing and my body weakening. I will die in 24 hours if my tail talisman is not returned. Oh, snap. That's insane. Oh, that lonely tear. I'm so sorry. Da, da, da. Oh, dang. Intently, Janesta looks at Rosella. Lola is very evil and will use the talisman to bring more evil to Tamir. Now I fear it will contaminate my whole country. Further, I cannot send you home without my talisman. Ah, I see. There's always a catch. Rosella is unsure as to what she can do. Meekly, she asks, I want to help you, but how? You can do more than you think, Rosella, Janesta assures her. I believe you will be able to penetrate Lalot's domain. Are you sure about that? Suddenly, Rosella remembers a tiny tree. Can you tell me where to find the magic fruit? The fruit? Remorsefully, Janesta looks at Rosella. It will not be easy to reach the tree. It grows on a tiny island within a vast swamp on the other side of the Great Mountains. Holy... No kidding. Bravely fighting back tears, Rosella says, I will help you in any way I can, Janesta. How can I find Lola? The beautiful fairy points eastward. Lalot Castle overlooks Tamir from the Great Mountains. Janesta looks weaker as she says, There is not much more I can do, Rosella. As it is, it will be difficult for me to fly home again. So just, like, chill here then. One thing I must do for you, though. I shall disguise you as a peasant girl so as not to attract attention. Alright. Go ahead, do it. Cute. Thank you, Janesta, I think, Rosella stammers. Mm -hmm. It will be better for you, the fairy says. Well, I must be off while I can still fly. I know you can do it. I like your confidence in me. Goodbye. Good luck. Hope you don't have to go too far. You're flying over the ocean. Well, you're on your own, Rosella. Clearly. Now what? Is this it? Can I start my intro now? Alright, I guess that's it. So, um, I guess I'll start my intro. Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, another King's Quest game. Today we are playing the fourth King's Quest uh, game called The Perils of Rosella. So, um, oh, we can actually use the mouse. Oh, cool. Don't really have to use the keyboard. All right, so as you know, in the beginning of this episode, um, Graham is sick, and we gotta find a magic fruit to help him get better. So, oh, jeez. Uh, okay, so we gotta keep going this way. Oh my god, a unicorn! Oh my goodness gracious! So beautiful. Oh, okay, bye. Because we're not able to. Or. Okay, anyways. Alright. Uh, should we try to go past the. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, geez, that's deep. That was a deep river. Oh, unicorn. Hello. Why can't we get close to you? I want to pet you. Dang it. Hmm. Keep going. Oh, well, I don't like this. Alright, let's see. No. Okay. Save. Save. Game. Alright, we're gonna say. Oh no. King. Graham. Save. There we go. Alright. 
No. <clears throat> I don't know where to go. I guess we'll just explore inside that cave. Well, I don't know if it's a cave. Don't quote me. <sighs> oh, hello. You have encountered a group of small men working in this diamond mine. They're not too friendly, though, as one of them forcefully tells you to leave the premises. Arivan won't you? So sorry. Oh, okay. That was close. That was a close one. I wonder if there's any, like, creep. Oh, man. Old bird. We actually have to scare. Take worm. Boop, got the worm. Yeah, it's telling me to uh, get a worm. So anyways. <laughs> supposed to find a pool somewhere. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, is this the pool? I'm not sure. Let's keep going. Oh, it's a house. Whose house is it? <laughs> Could we go in there? Or we oh, my stomach. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna open door. Hello. Who's here? Let's go up here and look into beds. Oh, I think this is the seven dwarf. Um, the seven dwarf sauce. Oh boy. Let's not get out of here. Now I'm gonna have to learn the controls all over again. It's perfect. Different every single time. All right, Rosella. Let's try to find this pool. Hey! Hey! What the frick was that? I wonder if I can make him come back by doing this. Eh. Forget it. Oh. Is this the pool? It's pretty. I wonder if there's anything there. The beautiful pool, with its elegant marble columns, has a wonderful setting in these woods. Strange. <clears throat> it's pretty strange. Dang it. Look, it's Cupid. Oh no, you've startled Cupid. Ah! He went for a little swim. I guess we're gonna take his bow and arrow. Ha ha ha. Take bow. Ha ha. Look what we have. Da 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 da. Threaded. Now we gotta go this way. We haven't been down here yet. Do do ba do ba do. Oh hello. the heck am I supposed to get out of here? Hello? Wait, I'm gonna save, because I don't trust. Save game. Oh no. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. Cupid. There. Speak. You attempt to speak to Pan, but he plays pays you no mind. He's too wrapped up in his flute music. Well, fine then. All right, get out of my way. The heck? Is that a frog? Oops, you scared the frog away. Oops, sorry. 
didn't mean to. All right. So apparently there's something under this bridge that we need to get. And I can see it right there. Tick. Tick. What do you want to get? Look. A great, gentle stream that wanders its meand, meanders its way through the trees. A rustic stone bridge crosses its path. Look under bridge. You kneel down and peer under the bridge. Aha, you have found a small golden ball. You pick it up and carry it with you. All right, we're gonna save. We're gonna save the game. Gold ball. There. Doop, doo. Man, it's been so miserable outside the past couple of weeks. Ball. You accidentally drop the golden ball into the pond. From atop a lily pad, a large green frog leaps on into the water and disappears from view. A moment later, the frog emerges with, yes, your lost ball in the mouth, in his mouth. It seems as if the frog is kindly returning your golden ball to you. Thanks. Thanks, froggy. Now, we will thank the frog. Pick up fro frog. You are too close to the water. What are you talking about? Pick up frog. Scrunching up your nose in disgust, you catch the large frog and hold it in your hand. It stares at you with its big bulgy eyes and wobbles its throat. Now we kiss it. His frog. You look at the frog's green lips. Mmm, good. You feel silly doing this as you slowly put your mouth against the frog's. Ooh. <gasps> Suddenly, the little green frog changes into a handsome prince. Who are you, the prince demands. I thought you were supposed to be a princess. Why, well, you're nothing more than a peasant girl. You blanch a bit at the remark, but say nothing. Well, ta-ta, he says. I'm off. Here, you, s you may keep this. To your surprise, he tosses the little golden crown to you as he takes his leave. Good riddance, you think. Yeah, get away from me. You jerk. Take ball. Find in. Oh, snap. Ugh, creepy. Should I save? I'm gonna save. Save game. Creepy. Simith. Terry! Da, 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 da. Or graveyard. Oop. Graveyard. There. Okay. I'm gonna just ignore that completely. Yep, we're just gonna walk through this water back to this house. Open door. Oh, geez. Aggressive. Clean. Oh, da, do, 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 do. Ugh, just gotta clean up everybody's mess. Jeez. Oh, snap. I wish that was, it was that easy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Did two at once. That's awesome. Look, just keep the crown on her. She is royalty after all. Snap, snap, snap. That's awesome. Seriously, I wish it was this easy to clean up. Make my life so much easier. They make everybody's life easier. So nice. Uh, oh, jeez. Sweep, 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 sweep. Yeah, you clean that floor. You hear the dwarfs approaching. Oh no! Oh god, you watch quietly as the dwarfs file in one by one, get a bowl of soup, and take a seat at the table. They're not, they're not, like, wondering, like, who the hell is this person? they just like, oh, soup, hell yeah. 
Like, what are you doing in my house? They're, they're not questioning that? Alright then. Do I have to wait for every, like, all seven of them? Can't make this go faster. Come on, hurry up. Get your bowl and sit down. It's really funny because I'm pretty sure Rosella just got saved by that dragon. Remember from the last ep or from the last game, we saved her. Oh, Doris must really be hungry. He's getting two bowls of soup. Huh. But yeah, um, the seven dwarfs seem very pleased that you tidied their messy home. One politely asks you your name. You tell him, and he cordially invites you to sit down with them and eat the spill bowl of soup he got for you. Ah, oh, he got it for me. <laughs> You're so sweet. You eat, seat yourself at the table and begin to eat the surprisingly delicious soup. Oh, she didn't make it? Huh. Well, I mean, of course she... Like I said, she just got back from, you know, almost eat, being eaten by a dragon. And she's already going on this like, adventure to save her father. Yeah. Yeah, just keep eating. All we really gotta do. It's time for the little men to go back to the mine. Goodbye, and thanks for the soup you call as you take their leave. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. I'll just uh, clean this up for you again. You jerks. Thanks for the mess. Really appreciate it. Men. You finished your soup also. It was the best soup you have ever tasted. Maybe though you were just really hungry. Maybe. And then we're gonna clean. Because obviously we have to. Oh, you left something on the table. Unless that's something we need, actually. Hold on. Phew, I hope that that's the last of it. Don't worry, I don't think you have to do that again. Alright. Take. What do you want to get? Look at table. You see a long wooden table. You also notice a blue pouch. Oh. Take blue pouch. Ooh. All right, guys, I think that's enough for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and please give it a like if you um, liked it, <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!